Hey, what's happening guys? I'm sure you guys will recognize this guy here from an older video. This is a uh, voltage standard. It uses the AD584LH chip from analog devices. And it's a pretty accurate standard, uh, 15 parts per million per degree uh, Celsius. And I'm looking for something, you know, a little bit more lab grade, I would call it. But without going over the top, you know, I can't afford a Cronheit or, a, or an EDC voltage standard. So I found this guy on eBay from Alice 110-1983. This is a 10-volt, uh, 1-amp uh, voltage and current standard. So if you guys are um, unfamiliar with these, let me give you a quick primer. Now it's been heating up for about an hour. Want to make sure everything is good and up to temperature. And this guy right here has four settings, 10 volts, seven and a half, five and two and a half. And all you have to do is stick your probe leads in just like this. And boom, you get a reading. So at 10 volts, we get 10.006. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's swap it over and we'll check it on the low end. We'll go to the two and a half volt. And two and a half, we get 2.504. So, you know, that's the resolution of this meter. But don't worry, I got something up my sleeve. Well, it's not really up my sleeve. It's way too big to be up my sleeve. So let's bring in this guy, who has also been warming up. And we'll hook it up. There's a common, a common ground connection there. If it wants to stay on, come on, get on there. All right. Ah, that one doesn't want to stay on. One second. All right, I got hooks going into hooks. So let's turn this guy on. And we're at 10 volts. And we see 10.024. Switch down here, we'll take it down. There we are, two volts, 2.008. One volt, 1.0075. Let's go. 100 millivolts. 1.063. So you get the idea. But let's find out what's going on inside this little guy and where it's getting its voltage references from. So we'll uh, shut her off there and grab a screwdriver. are out. Lift off the screen carefully. Let's zoom on down. Okay, these uh these chips are damn near impossible to read. What we got going on here, this is the brains of the operation. This is an ST6K microcontroller. Then we got a couple op amps. These are LM258s. Diodes, these are uh, D882s. And this guy here, don't know, they have uh, taken the information off the chip. So we have no way of knowing exactly what's going on there. So while this device is using the precision voltage reference, this is using a couple of comparators and a microcontroller. So which one is more accurate? 
Well, I've got just the way to find out. Let me put this back together and I'll show you. All right, how about something with a little more precision? This is the Fluke 8840A multimeter. This is a five and a half digit high precision multimeter. Another one of the uh, devices I got from the auction. Thank you, patrons. So let's start off with the AD584. It is on uh, two and a half volts. Getting my probes in. All right, everything is in and I'm powered up. 2.5053. All right, let's try it up here at the high end. I can get the jumpers on and off there. Uh oh, lost one. Butterfingers, huh? All right. Is it on? No, it's not on. Shoot. Oh, you guys are sitting there staring at the screen while I'm butterfingering it. Okay. Now it's on. All right, so 10 volts. Three, two, one. Boop. 10.0056. That's not bad. Now, let's go with the other one and see how it stacks up. I'm cooking up the probes here. Give me a second. That meter is so big, there's no way I can get everything in this shot normally. Okay, everything's hooked up. And... There's 10 mil or 100 millivolts. We're getting 106. Let's uh, take this bad boy up to 10. 10.019. All right. Then we'll take it down to a two and a half. Two point five oh eight. So these two seem to be uh, just about equal. So this is a pretty nice meter. I'm not going to go into it now. We're going to do a uh, tear down and restore video on it later. But um, it doesn't have the AC option board in it, which is fine. Uh, my patrons already saw a picture of this earlier, kind of a teaser. And uh, speaking of my patrons, uh, the winner of the uh, giveaway for the CNC counter was Jason Clowers. So congrats to Jason. Congrats to all my patrons. Thank you all very much. All right, so let's wrap it up. Okay, so this guy I also bought from Alice 110, 1983, a few months back. $11. This one, $25. As you saw, they're both pretty comparable. I would, uh, I'd place my trust in the, uh, the one with the analog devices, precision voltage reference in it. I didn't know what was in this. There were no pictures of the internals, so I was taking a chance. All right, so the practicality. Do you need a precision voltage reference? No, not unless you're NASA. I just like to play with stuff. <laughs> Plus, I have so many multimeters, I just wanted to see how um, they each compare to each other and which ones are the most precise. But anyway, we do what we do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.